Okay, today I will talk about uh, Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function. Uh, in our previous lecture, we talk about Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of distinguishable particle, total number of particle, and different energy levels. So this was our previous equation. Uh, we today we will start from this equation. So I would like to explain what is uh, mean by Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function. So Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function is the uh, population ratio of uh, particles in different energy levels uh, as compared to total number of particles. So this is the population ratio or we can uh, name this as the frictional numbers of particle in any energy level J. So for example now coming here toward uh, an isolated system you already know in thermodynamic what is mean by isolated system. So any system in which there is no exchange of mass or energy you already know that in this case we have uh, total number of particles n that is summation of nj particle is equal to n uh, this is constant and the total energy of the system that is summation of ei ni that is the total energy that is constant uh, now we have this system and this system consists of different energy level j level such as 1 2 3 and uh, this is the number of particle in different levels so this number of particle can be varied but the total number should be constant in the system uh, similarly these are the energy states and this is the energy uh, just the energy of a level is uh, constant but uh, if we vary the number of particle it is varied so starting from the equation 4 uh, this is the probability maxwell boltzmann probability so this is n pictorial and this is the product sign this is gj power nj uh, divided by nj pictorial so this product sign is for both so putting the value of gj is equal to 1 so now we suppose that we have only one energy state and just coming here uh, just uh, look here if we have only one energy state so we have all the particle will be occupied in this one energy state so we have actually 100% probability that all the particle will occupy this one energy state. So thermodynamic probability will be maximum or 100% or this will be maximum value is 1. Putting the value of this gj is equal to 1 and maximum thermodynamic probability in equation 4. So this term will be equal to 1 and this is the value of maximum thermodynamic probability is 1. So we got equation 5. Uh, now taking the natural log of both sides, so we have a rule in uh, logarithm that the product sign will be converted in the same way as uh, division is converted into minus sign and product is converted into plus. So this will be converted into summation sign and uh, log of 1 is equal to 0. Applying Schrodinger approximation to solve this uh, pictorial term, so we have this formula log x pictorial is equal to x log x minus x. So just putting the value we got this n uh, log n minus n for this n pictorial log n pictorial. Similarly for the second term nj log nj minus nj and uh, applying the summation sign uh, to this nj. So this total number of particle will give total number of particle and this will give us a positive sign because negative uh, into positive uh, negative we give we get a positive sign and the negative total number of particle will be cancelled with the positive total number of particle we got the simplified equation this equation uh, can be solved by depreciating this equation so when we depreciate this equation uh, the first term is actually the total number of particle if you apply differentiation uh, differential term to this uh, it, the first term uh, total number of particles so this will finally give us zero because here n is the total number of particle and particle uh, are constant so changing in the total number of particle will not possible this will be zero and applying to the second term so the second term uh, this nj is we suppose as a and this ln nj is b so the differential will be applied first to A and keeping B constant then we will apply to B and keeping A constant in the same way. 
so this is just nj ln d ln nj plus so this is taking constant this applied to here uh, just this d ln nj this we can uh, solve by using the general differential formula and uh, this is equal to d x over x so just putting here uh, d n i n j or n j so n j will be cancelled we have only d n j remaining here and uh, when we apply summation to this so uh, this will give us actually the total number of particles uh, d summation n j is equal to d n and this uh, the change in the total number of particle is not possible this is zero so we got this uh, equation i is uh, our solved equation here in our isolated system we know that uh, the total number of particles are constant and when we are making any change or depreciating total number of particles we will get zero derivative of a constant is zero uh, similarly the total energy of the system is constant and if we want to uh, derive this uh, differentiate this so we will get a zero because the change is not possible uh, so this is equation third now using Langrange, Langrange method of undetermined multipliers so this is something we multiply uh, the equation 1 uh, equation 2 and equation 3 with some constant and that is alpha and beta that is unknown constant and then adding this equation to equation 1 this equation 1 so just multiply equation uh, 2 with alpha and we represent with bar and similarly multiply equation uh, third with beta and we uh, represent with bar uh, here actually the energy uh, we are taking this energy outside because the energy of a level as I told you this is constant and uh, the energy of the level can be varied when we are because the energy is possessed by the particle and if you are wearing the particle so energy will be varied so we just took this outside and we just take this differential of this number of particle in any level put the value of uh, equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 uh, summing up all the equation uh, now we are taking uh, summation sign all the uh, term consists contains summation sign so just taking the summation sign common and also d and i common from all the terms so this is summation sign we took common and this is d and i we took common here uh, uh, the total number the change in the number of particle in any jth level uh, this is not is equal to zero because there is a possibility of the particle to go from one level to another level so although we uh, noted that the total number of particle are constant but uh, the change in number of particle in different energy level uh, that is possible that is not constant so summation sign and uh, so either if this term is not is equal to zero so because we have the product of this these two term uh, a and b is equal to zero so if this term is not is equal to zero so this term must be equal to zero we wrote here and just dividing both side by summation sign uh, so we got here get rid of the summation sign and uh, transferring this uh, uh, log term from one side to another side so we got this and uh, this log term can be solved by taking exponential of both sides so when we took exp uh, exponential of both sides so we got exponential here and here the log term is cancelled and now we have to we got this equation 6 uh, uh, this is very important equation uh, for the value of alpha we have to do a little more work uh, just taking the summation of both sides of this equation 6 so just taking the summation so this summation and uh, this is a constant we took outside and this is a variable because energy of different level and uh, this is actually ej the energy of different jth levels and the su summation of the particle in different levels uh, this is giving us total number of particles and in denominator we have the summation uh, just we rearrange this we got the alpha value and uh, this alpha value we have put uh, in equation 6 so we got equation in which nj is equal to this is the alpha value and 
after rearranging we just transfer this to denominator so that we can get a ratio population ratio so this is uh, energy of L n level and this is a summation of in all level so you got equation c1 uh, this equation c1 can be also because in the beginning we uh, we suppose that we have only one energy state and now if we put the value of gj that we don't have any one energy level we had different energy level so just putting the value of gj is gj uh, in nominator and denominator so we got this final uh, maxwell boltzmann distribution function or population ratio or the friction of particles in any jth level in this equation uh, the denominator actually we will come here uh, after some time the denominator show us the partition function z so for the time being you need to mem keep in mind that the denominator in this equation uh, is partition function and equation uh, 7 and 8 are two different forms of maxwell boltzmann distribution function showing frictional population of particle in any jth level so i hope you understand if you have any question then please don't hesitate to ask